Hello! Hi, young people, children, families, everyone out there. I'm Father Bob Johnson. And I'm Miss Claudette. And we're so happy to see you once again on our third presentation in the series, Do You Know Your Faith? So we learned about prayer, the first class, then we did Eucharist, and today we have another special gift in our gift box. But we want to sing our song first, okay. the song that I wrote for us. Are you ready? Do you know your faith? Do you know God's there? There's much to learn. God really cares. Let's take the time to understand. God's there for us. God has a plan. Now we're going to do that one more time. We're going to pick it up just a little. Ready? Here we go. Do you know your faith? Do you know God's there? There's much to learn. God really cares. Let's take the time to understand. God's there for us. God has a plan. God's there for us. God has a plan. So I got a question for you. How many mommies do you have? But if I would ask you, I'd say, how many mothers do you have? What would you say, uh, Claudia? I, I would always say two. I'll she'll tell you why in a moment. I say one, because I remember my mommy, the mommy who takes care of us, who fixes our meals, who helps us when we were growing up to dress, who has nursed us when we've been sick, who always loves us even when we're wrong or we do bad things. Moms always love us. So no matter how many mommies you have, and there might be more than one, the church says, whatever number you just said, you've got one more. So if I have two mommies, the church says, you've got one more. If I've had four mommies, the church says, you've got one more. That other mommy is a special gift God gives us. And so we're going to open the box and see what is that gift that God gives us. <gasps> Out of the gift box from God, it says, Mary, our mother. She's that extra special mother that God gives us as a gift. She's our spiritual mother. She's there for us because she wants us to know her son, Jesus. And we can look at her life. Her life shows us how to say yes to God. And in the church, we celebrate her all the time. And some people get the wrong impression. And I'm going to say it on the air. We don't worship Mary. We worship God, but Mary is there for us as our spiritual mother. We can ask her to pray for us, to walk with us, to guide us. And so the church holds Mary in a special relationship. We revere Mary in a special way. And so especially there's two months in the, our, our year, our calendar year, where we especially lift Mary. And they are May and? September. October. October. So we have May and October as two special months to remember Mary. And that's why this month we've just begun the month of May. And that's why we're going to talk about Mary a little. So what we need you to do is now turn to our magical video like we're going into some fantasy land as we turn to a song called Mary Our Mother by Patricia Haggerty. And the words are, Mary, our mother, the Lord is with you. Guide us, protect us in all that we do. we got some great words here. And we'll sing it through, and then I'll throw you the words that you can uh, learn the words. And here we go again. Mary, our mother, the Lord is with you. Guide us, protect us in all that we do. And this is not our song right now. This is the closing song. So we're going to come and I'm going to go over the words with you right now. Mary, our mother, the Lord is with you. Are we going to get it now? Guide us, protect us in all that we do. Our mother, the Lord is with you. Guide us, protect us, in all that we do. Now we hear Angel Gabriel. You will be mother of Jesus. 
scripture and our right foot is over 2,000 years of our church tradition led by the Holy Spirit in the book called our Catechism of the Catholic Church Wow and so we want to step on our left foot because remember everything we do even with Mary we turn to God's Word to scripture and so we're gonna listen to Claudette read but I'm gonna say first of all the Lord be with you and with your spirit our reading is from the good news of John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now Claudette will read from John chapter 19. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So that's a special moment where we remember that Mary is our spiritual mother. Because Jesus, from the cross, gives her to us. He says to his mom, woman, behold your son. And then he says to John, who represents all of us, because John is the disciple, and we're all disciples. And then he says to John and all of us, Behold your mother. Now, that's God's word. We want to also look at our right foot that we're walking on, called our catechism. And at this point, we're going to ask Claudette to read to you from our church's catechism, okay? Paragraph 968. Her role in relation to the church and to all humanity goes still further. Mary cooperated by her obedience, faith, hope, and burning charity in helping her son Jesus, her Savior. For this reason, she is mother to us in the order of grace. So God gives us this graced moment to take Mary as our mother. Because why? Mary cooperated. She cooperated with God. Do you cooperate with your parents or with your brothers or sisters? All the time, or sometimes, or not at all. Mary cooperated. She cooperated by obeying God, by having faith and hope and love, and helping her son Jesus. And so my question to you would be, what are some things you say yes to at home? Do you say yes when your mom and dad says, go clean your room? Do you say yes? Do you say yes when you're... Your mom or dad says to you, or grandma or grandpa, or, or uncle or auntie say something like, um, go out there and, and cut the lawn, or go outside and, and take out the garbage. Do you say yes? There's a lot of things we're called to say yes to, but sometimes we don't. 
Sometimes it's hard, isn't it? Yes, it's very to say, hard sometimes. To say yes. But Mary, she says yes. And that's why we can turn to Mary and understand why she should guide us and lead the way. So the first reason we should turn to Mary, and there's where Claudette's going to show this beautiful sign, because she said yes to God. Can we say yes to God? Ask that in your heart. But then, Mary also teaches us how to pray. She has this beautiful prayer called the Magnifica. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Wow, what an awesome prayer of praise. We also have a very beautiful prayer that we ask Mary's intercession, and we use this called the Rosary. Now, some people think the Rosary is like magic. And eh, wrong. It's not magic. The Rosary is powerful. A lot of the saints understood the power of the rosary. Some people say, oh, it's boring. All you do is repeat prayers. There's just a certain rhythm. And as you start saying those prayers in a rhythm, you can find God in a special way by saying those prayers. If you start to say the rosary, you go, this will be boring. This is boring. Well, then you won't get to that sense of the power of God. But once you get into a rhythm with the rosary, there's this power and this certain relationship you can connect with God through the rosary. It's powerful. So Mary teaches us how to pray in many ways. But she also teaches us how to obey. Wow, that four-letter word that sometimes we're not so easy with. There's a lot of four-letter words around. But the one that we really have to try to work on is the O-B-E-Y. The four-letter word to obey. And sometimes it's not easy to obey. Even for priests and nuns and religious and married people and directors of faith formation and, you know, parish executive administrative assistants and, you know, worship coordinators. There's all kinds of challenges in, in wanting to obey and obey God or obey even sometimes the priest. But we're called to obey God's will in our lives. And Mary shows us how to obey. You know why? Because in Scripture, when the angel tells her God's plan for her, what does she say? She doesn't go, I don't want to obey. She says, do whatever you will for me. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. And then finally, Mary not only teaches us to say yes to God, how to pray, how to obey, but Mary teaches us to Know the way. And that's when we hear in Scripture where Mary, to learning to know the way of God, she cherishes things in her heart. So we hear about those moments, the joyful moments, the confusing moments, the painful moments. Mary treasures and cherishes them in her heart. And so that's another way that we get to know God through Mary. Mary shows us how to know the way. So today we're going to close with a prayer and then a song. And I'm going to ask you, I'm going to say part of the prayer and Claudette will say the other part and you can join Claudette. It's a prayer we're taught and I think all of our children should know it at Our Lady of the Woods and wherever you go to church. It's one of the first prayers we always learn as Catholics. And so I'm going to start it out and we're going to ask Mary's intercession. Hail Mary. Full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. That's from Luke chapter 1. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 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 So we want to sing now a song. And I wrote the words, and it's to the melody, Oh, my darling Clementine. Let's see if we can get the words. And the words start with, Mary guides us, Mary leads us to her son, Jesus Christ. Mary guides us, Mary leads us to her son, Jesus Christ. And he shared with us his mother in his gift of sacrifice. Do you know the melody? Oh, my darling Clementine. 
Do you know it, Claudette? I do. And Jason's here somewhere. I bet he knows it. And of course, Becky, our parish administrative assistant, is right behind the camera, and she knows it, right? You didn't introduce her at the beginning oh, today. I'm they all know Jason. Sorry, yeah, here. Jason's been helping. Thank you for reminding me that. We also have Becky, Rebecca Gonzalez, who's here with us, and she's helping us. And our, our production staff's getting bigger and bigger because our show is getting, you know, bigger, bigger and bigger. So here's our song. Mary guides us, Mary leads us to her Son, Jesus Christ. And he shared with us his mother in his gift of sacrifice. Now we have the next verse. Mother Mary, give us courage as we come to know you more. As you bring us to our Savior, to our Lord that we adore. One last verse. Blessed Mother, blessed Lady, you can teach us how to pray as you show us how to love now your Son Jesus every day. Your Son Jesus every day. And that's the secret about Mary as our spiritual mother. She never wants to have the spotlight on her. She always wants to lead us to her son, Jesus, every day. So I hope you have a very special friendship with Mary, and we should be proud of the way we honor and revere Mary in our Catholic Church and our Catholic faith. And it's such a wonderful way to grow closer to God. So I, I, I ask the Lord to bless you with that gift. So until next Monday... Thank you for watching, and I hope that you remember you have two mothers, your mother here on earth, and when you aren't near her, you always got your spiritual mother with you. Oh, that's beautiful, Claudette. So anyway, have a beautiful day. We miss you in person, but we hope you're watching. And you know, the other day, some adult said to uh, me, and I don't know if I shared this with Claudette, she said, oh, do you really think the children are watching this? I don't know if they are or not. I hope they are. But whether you are or not, whoever's watching it, you go evangelize. And you go tell the other children. And you just, if God wants whoever to see this now. So we hope that the children are watching. If you have friends, tell them to watch us every Monday. We love you. Bye. Bye.